Hello everybody. Here we have just brought up from North Carolina a 2021 Thomas Built Buses EFX. This one is a 72 passenger. Believe it or not, it is quite short. But this is a 2021 EFX. We'll just do a quick little walk around. This one does have the Cummins engine inside. Now, for all the buses that I've ever driven, I've never driven an EFX. Um, we just don't use them up here. We barely even have any HDXs and they're mostly just used for trips and charters. There's a train coming, so you'll have to bear with that. Fuel tank's open. I tried to use the key to lock it back up, but came from North Carolina <laughs> uh, without that. Uh, let's see what we got here. There's no air suspension on this at all. It's just those struts. You got some nice meaty Michelin tires on there. All right, come up, just take a quick little look at the front here. All the new books and everything are up in the driver's side of the dashboard. All right, let's go inside, shall we? Nice little curved staircase to go up. You have your engine mounted in here, or under here, I should say. Um, coming up in, this is just a quick little area to get to, check your fluids and stuff. Uh, and there's that Cummins engine. Uh, you got your oil dipstick there and your transmission fluid here. Obviously you can add uh, diesel engine oil in there as well. Ooh, like sun glare, sorry. And your power steering over there. I personally like regular buses or even the HDX because you can still get into the engine to service them. These ones aren't the easiest to get into. I'm sure you can easily, but this is your driver's area. This does not have an air ride door. It does have air brakes, um, but no air suspension, no air driver's um, seat. And then this is your driver's area. You got your interior lights here, your defrost fans up there. You got your heat pump, your defrost controls, uh, all the different heaters that are in the bus. It's got three of them. Obviously your radio. It does have a tilt telescoping steering wheel. There's your air pressure gauge all there all by itself. Parking brake and then all your door controls are over here. Your warning lights are right there. Your door, uh, three-way switch of course. Uh, your crossing arm, you can cancel that, which I guess this must have been an order for that. It even does have the Wabasto diesel heater on there. Down here's your light controls, your panel lights, uh, windshield wiper, washer fluid, cruise control on here, and then your uh, regen switch. And there's your dash. Go ahead and look back through the bus. All right, for how short this is, it does have enough room for 72 passengers, maybe 71. Um, because there is kind of a smaller seat back here. However, the base is almost a full size. I'm not sure what's in the box there. It's probably saying special order for the company that is buying these. Two emergency roof hatches. Uh, you got um, two window emergency exits on each side there. All right, come back up front here. Let me grab the key. And then uh, we'll start her up. Your door switch is up there for your emergency release and so on. Uh, we'll go ahead, we'll close that. Get that ready. Big, big mirror to check on your passengers back there. Really big mirror there. All right, there's the dashboard. Let's go ahead, we'll put the key in. Uh, we do have the automatic transmission. It should be an Allison. So many lights, so many noises. <laughs> uh, there you can see it does have uh, 426.6 miles. That means it just got up here to our dealership from the Thomas plant in North Carolina. All right, cool. We got 9.1 miles to the gallon driving up from there. Let's go ahead, we'll start it up. Oh wow. Nice, smooth, sounds just like the regular Cummins would. 
we'll open up the hatch here. That's got a good bit of sound dampening on there. So you hear the difference. That's if they had uh, the cover open. It's still very quiet though for a diesel, don't get me wrong. And that's got a lot of sound deadening in there. Very nice. We do have the air brakes on there. All right, we'll go ahead, we'll put on our headlights, our four ways. Uh, let's go ahead, we have our yellows activated there. One flip of the switch and we got reds. And open our door. Nice air door. All right. These aren't the easiest to get in and out of. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I like being able to just swing on out and go outside. All right. It's even, those Cummins are such quiet engines, even from the outside. It's nice and quiet there. There you have your eight ways. Um, and then your incandescent turn signals on the front. Regular stop arm. Uh, like I said, it's a 2021. It does have the newer, I like to call them the Bluebird style uh, marker lights. I hate that they did this for the turn signals because I think school buses are all about safety. They should have kept them the same size that they were on the C2 on the side, if not made them a little bit bigger like they were on the old FS65s, um, at least for the turn signals. The marker clearance lights, I think that's completely fine, but the turn signals are kind of bothers me. <laughs> Uh, here you have your battery box. Look at that. Two beautiful brand new batteries up in there. This one they did option in a uh, rear side turn signal there. So you have a red one there. Such a smooth running bus. Come back to the back side here. Got the reds on, your four ways. This one they did LED brake lights, tail lights and um, turn signals. However, the reverse lights are incandescent. It's one of the newer style that are really pretty bumped out there. Open up your emergency hatch, get all the wonderful buzzers and everything there. All right, let's close that back up. This one doesn't uh, turn on the backup lights uh, whenever you open the rear door. Normally, um, a lot of ours do that. But uh, it is a very quiet, quiet bus. Seems pretty smooth overall. Very, very short wheelbase on this. Let me go back to the driver's side and give you another view of that. Especially to be able to fit 72 passengers. That's such a short wheelbase on there. I'll tell you what, when these retire in uh, like 10, 15 years or so, They'll make a pretty nice uh, conversion. You can get that in and out of a whole bunch of stuff. All right. This one, there's your uh, winter heater plug. Lots of uh, water in there. That might be something to keep an eye out for. Let's come back up inside here. Back in our driver's cockpit area. Right, close the door. And it is an electronic cross arm and stop arm on this. You got your regular horn. Barely even have to touch that and it goes, so somebody will be knocking that. Put it in reverse. Has that old fashioned uh, Sorry, there's a lot of state troopers going flying down the highway here. Um, all run right after another, so they're going somewhere. Um, if you put it in reverse, you have that old fashioned backup alarm that they started using on the FS65. All right, uh, let me put the seatbelt on, because otherwise we're gonna have dings on that. This also has like an older style seatbelt on it too. So you have to actually hold that parking brake in. It doesn't want to just go on its own. All right, back it up a little bit. Just 
using our mirrors here. Alright, cool. We can put it in neutral and in the drive. So that's your uh, parking brake has the vehicle brake interlock, so to release you have to push the brake pedal to the floor, then depress your uh, parking brake on there. I do like the little cross mirrors that are up here, those look like they come in handy, I like that. Um, not quite the dog ear style of the HDX, but I do like that, that's pretty nice. Uh, also down here there is a USB uh, charge plug there as well. All right. This one doesn't have like a master switch, so if I was to open the door here, it'll just open the door. It won't activate your reds or anything like that. All right. Um, we go through our list here. Let's see. Oh, I don't know how to operate this fully. But yeah, there it is. 426.6 miles on her. Nice bus. Let's open the door and give just a couple revs here. Not too much. I don't want to be breaking the engine too badly. All right. Close our door. This does have a child safety lock on it. So if I'm here, let me just turn the four ways off. It does have that order style, so you have the lovely switch down here, on and off, and then turn signal stops right here, along with your uh, high beams. I uh, pull up for that. Um, but if you were to turn the bus off and open that door, it's going to set off the horn, an alarm, and flashlights, and a whole whole mess. All right, so we'll turn the bus off. It's beeping, let me know that the child lock's ready. The lights are on up top. Everybody's setting their car alarms off outside at the sheets across the street. Come back here, stop and check. We'll push that. All right, and we got confirmation. It's clear. Let's come back up. And let's hope when I open this, it don't go off. Someone needs to get their car alarm. <laughs> Let's see what happens. All right, no alarm. There you have it. Come back down the stairs, down the spiral staircase there. All right. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll try to keep bringing you more videos as I uh, go around. Thank you for your watching and support. Have a great day.